Hey everyone, get that coffee. I thought it would be really interesting to do a video on uh, gaming performance with Arch versus Debian. And since I was building some PCs recently, some PCs with older hardware, you know, refurbished computers, I just felt like it would be a good, good opportunity to kind of compare these two distros because I know a lot of people say that, you know, given that Debian has older packages, yada, yada, that, you know, it's a horrible choice for gaming. And I'm not here to tell you that it's the best choice for gaming, but you know, based on the results that I'll show you, I actually think it's a pretty solid choice, um, and and you'll see. But before we get started, you know, I I love both of these distros. They're both community oriented, community driven. So not playing favorites here. I use both, but I just thought it would be a really interesting comparison. So we do have a community cage match today: Arch versus Debian. So just to give you a bit of an overview of, of kind of both sides here, right? This is the this is the latest version of Arch, running kernel 6.9.3. Um, both installs have game mode, same version. Surprisingly, the version of game mode in the Debian distro is the same as the one in Arch. You know, I guess that's not updated particularly often. And then this is the big difference here. So the Arch version is using the native Pac-Man uh, Steam package, so just kind of installed natively there through Pac-Man. But on the Debian side, and this is really one advantage that Flatpak gives Debian, I, I went ahead and installed Flat, uh, sorry, Steam through the through Flatpak, and this is this is key because I do believe I'm I'm pretty sure that um, the Flatpak Steam package is a newer version of Mesa, or at least the Flatpak runtime does. So that actually gives Debian a bit of an advantage, not necessarily an advantage, but it helps to mitigate, you know, some of the older packages. And if we look at the hardware, I did this comparison on, it's an old P520 workstation, not super old, you know, handful, maybe five plus years old. Um, it's running a server processor, so it's got an Intel Xeon W2135. It's got a max clock speed of 3.7 gigahertz, six cores, 12 threads, still actually a really strong processor. And then it's running an AMD Radeon 5700. So this is the non-XT version. I also did the same with an XT version. I just thought it'd be interested to use the older hardware here for the comparison. And um, 16 gigs of RAM running at 3200 MTs. And then just so, so storage is not a concern or a bottleneck, we're running a one terabyte uh, NVMe, you know, PCIe solid state drive. So let's get into it. So round one, I put them through the benchmark of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and I use the highest preset, so kind of the maximum graphic settings here, without ray tracing because this this is an older card and it doesn't support ray tracing. Um, and this is at 1440p, which I think is the sweet spot for gaming, anyways, right? 4K is a little bit overkill, and both perform exceptionally well. So on the left you see Arch here, 72 FPS average. Hopefully you can see this and it's not too small, but um, did very well. Uh, minimum was around 45, you know, very smooth throughout. I think this this processor was actually a little bit GPU bound by this older graphics card. Um, it did perform a lot better with the, the XT version. But then if we look over to the Debian side, look at that, 71 average FPS. Um, relatively close, really. Slightly lower min there. Well, actually significantly lower min, but that kind of, it's a bit of a lie because that actually happened at the beginning of a cutscene transition or a, a new scene loading in. It's a, it's a forest, kind of a jungle scene with like thick luscious vegetation. And it just kind of hitched a little bit, loading that scene, dropped down into the high 20s. But I mean, they were very comparable throughout the whole time as you can see by the charts here. So really close in this one. I, I would put that within the margin of error. Now if we go to round two. So I should say, so. Rise of the Tomb Raider, this was done through the Proton layer. So I use Proton Experimental built into Steam, right? So that's a Windows build running through Proton. This one here is cool because this is round two. This is Warhammer 3, Warhammer Total War 3. And this is on the high preset, 1440p, which is really impressive considering this, this, this hardware is pretty old. Um, and this is a native Linux build. So kudos to uh, Creative Assembly for putting together a native uh, Linux build on this game. Not sure how many of you guys were aware of that, but that's awesome. Anyway, so really, really good performance here on both sides. So on the left, Arch, max of 63. 
a min of 41 and an average of 51. <laughs> Pretty good, right? And you can see it dips down into the low 40s, um, kind of like three quarters of the way through the battle. And that's because we really start getting into the hot and heavy action. A lot of units on the screen, a lot of particle effects flying around. And um, the camera zooms in a lot, which, you know, triggers some level of detail changes and things like that. But always smooth, you know, never well above 30, very smooth, playable, really kind of impressive. And then on the right, you got the Debian side, same max, same min, just a slightly, you know, the average is a tick lower, right? 50.9. I mean, that's within a margin of error. That's pretty awesome. Again, really close. And this is with a native Linux build. So we're kind of kind of testing from multiple perspectives here, right? And then round three. I went ahead, so my wife is a huge gamer and she loves Dawn Trail. So this is Final Four, Final Fantasy XIV, it's the latest expansion, it's coming out in a few months. And they released, Square Enix released a benchmark for that. So you can actually install it and run it through Lutris, really easy. I can do a video on it if you want, but I'm pretty sure there's plenty out there. Anyways, I thought it would be a good opportunity to test. So this is on the maximum preset, so highest graphic settings possible at 1440p. And on the arch side, this one's a little interesting. So Arch technically did a little bit better from the score, but it had a lower minimum, right? 29 min, average of 60.63. So it's slightly higher average, just a tick. And in general, it performed really well, smooth. Um, Final Fantasy gave it a high score. So 82.54, it considers that a high score. Um, you know, very, very acceptable, very smooth gameplay um, for those settings. And on the right, on the Debian side, Slightly higher min, right? 30 FPS min, and then 60.37 average. So the average is a little bit lower, but very close. And we scored 81.84 again, again high on the maximum preset. So there we go. Three, uh, three rounds of battle for these two distros. And I, I think it's safe to say that all of these results were within the margin of error. I mean, I, I think mathematically that's the case. Um, some other considerations, I think, Flatpak allows for newer versions of Mesa, which I think allow Debian to kind of mitigate for some of its older packages. And then another consideration is this was done on, you know, relatively older hardware. So I'd be really curious to see if these, these results would hold up with newer hardware, a newer build, newer GPU, for example. Like, would, would a newer Linux kernel in that case really make a big difference? So I'm actually going to do a video soon kind of playing with that idea with a much newer GPU. And um, yeah, there's so much we could do with this also. Maybe what would happen if I updated Debian's kernel? You know, would that make a difference? Anyways, hope you found this interesting. And I think it's safe to say, you know, if you want a game with Debian, it's a good solid choice. I mean, I think you, you've seen the kind of the differences within the margin of error between these two distros, very different distros with different philosophies, bleeding edge versus stable conservative. Anyways, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Stay curious, stay free. Take care.